in this video I will cover these 5 points. These 4 links I have used in this video. These links are also available in the video description for your quick access. Please open these 4 links in any latest browser and continue watching the video. Many top companies from these different industries are using Pega solutions and really doing great business. Now we'll see what are those companies. As a Pega beginner, it is important to have some basic knowledge about who are the Pega customers or end clients of Pega who are actually using Pega solutions. Now we are in the first link here given customer case studies. You can watch these sample videos and when you scroll down here the list of Pega customers details are given here. By using the filters option we can apply more filters by industry wise, solution wise and global region wise. For now, I am selecting the industry that is financial services industry. I am selecting it and applying it to see the list of Pega customers from financial services industry. So these are the details Pega customers from financial services industry. For example, when I click on this Commonwealth Bank of Australia link here, It is showing the details, case study and other information it is available here. It is given about the business issue, the solution and the results from the solution. At the bottom it is given what is the solution used by this Pega customer. So this is the solution name, Pega Customer Decision Hub. Also given here related resources, you can check this for more details. Like this for every Pega customer, the details are given here. You can explore more details by clicking on each customer link over here. Same way you can apply more filters from here according to your requirement, you can check by applying different uh, filters options available here and explore more information from here. Next one is about Pega Partners. Now we are in the second link. You can search for a Pega Partner company either by entering the company name over here or by selecting a region over here. For now I am selecting all the regions and I want to see all the list of Pega Partner companies by clicking on search partners showing 92 results that means there are 92 pega partner companies at present and below are the details of those pega partner companies given here here the job of a pega partner company is to provide customized pega solutions to the end clients it is given here what the Pega partner companies are doing, what are their specialities in providing Pega solutions and their authorized regions. Like this for every Pega partner company, the details are given here. We can explore more details from this page. If you are an employee of any of the listed Pega partner companies over here, it is recommended to use your official email address to sign up on Pega so that you'll get more privileges to access the content available on different Pega sites that you can see from here. These are the different uh, Pega sites available. I recommend you to explore these different Pega sites to have some basic understanding about what is available in each of these Pega sites. Now we'll see how to sign up or create your Pega account. Go to third link. Now we are in third link. You can fill out this sign up form either by using your LinkedIn profile by clicking on this link or by entering the details manually. 
over here make sure that you enter your employer name here and your official email address and choose a password of your choice which satisfies these conditions for any reason if you want to sign up on pega by using your personal email address you can use any of these email addresses and open the inbox of this registered email as you are going to receive an email from pega and after entering all the details click on sign up you'll come to the screen where it is showing welcome to pega your account for the specific registered email was created successfully that means your account has been created successfully the next step is verifying or activating your pega account go to your registered email inbox and look for an email from this email address support at accounts.pega.com with this subject called activate your pega account in that body of the email you should be able to see an option called verify now button and you have to click on this verify now if you have not received an email refresh your inbox also you can check in your junk or spam mail once you find this email click on this verify now then it will show your screen like this enter the company email address or registered email click on next enter the password which you have created on sign up form click on verify here at the top right corner if you are able to see your name saying hello your first name means your account has been verified successfully the next step is updating your details in pega account for this you just take your mouse pointer onto the onto your name and it shows a menu click on my profile in this screen take your mouse pointer onto these three dots it will show you more options click on edit profile in this edit profile page it will show you the basic details which you have entered on sign up form and fill out any other mandatory fields which are mentioned as required which includes phone number location and also fill out any other optional fields and finally click on save profile next one is uploading your profile picture by clicking on this icon upload your profile picture which satisfies these conditions and finally click on save then your profile looks something like this profile picture name by default it will show you achievements as one that achievement is given here as welcome to pega badge that means as soon as you create a new pega account you will receive this badge saying welcome to pega currently under achievements it is showing no certifications yet since you have just created the account it will be showing this message but over a period of time when you keep learning different pega courses and uh, completing different certifications your certifications will be shown as your achievements and the details will be shown over here that looks something like this once you do some certifications and uh, completing pega pega courses it is giving uh, it is showing here the details like 21 achievements and detailed certification badges are given here and these are the course specific badges the last point is verify certifications with pdn id this is very important point to know about verifying certifications most of the recruiters will use this process to verify the certifications of a pega candidate before they schedule an interview with the pega candidate now we are in the fourth link we can verify certification of a pega candidate in two different ways by using the email address of the candidate or by using the name of the candidate by default uh, this screen will show you this message no certification records found randomly when i enter first name and last name like this and when i click on submit 
it is showing this message multiple candidate results found that means there are more than one candidate with the same first name and last name that's why it is not showing a specific uh, details of a specific candidate next so because of this reason that multiple candidates can have a, a same first name and last name it is recommended to use email address to search or to verify certification of a pega candidate next when i enter randomly an email address like this and click on submit now it is showing no certification records found that means there is no pega profile associated with this email address that's why it is showing no records found next when i enter my previous company email address and click on submit it is showing the details like this so certification name and a candidate name version and completed month and year to see the pega candidates full profile we can click on this view pega profile to see more details it will show the details like this pega profile name and other details and number of achievements the detailed uh, achievements given here certifications like this now when i enter my current company email address and click on submit it is showing these details with all the latest certification included here so certification name candidate version completed month and year when you click on uh, this view pega profile it is showing this details with updated achievements as 21 achievements and all the other certification badges and course specific badges summary of the video we have seen all these five points i hope this video is useful to you if yes do let me know with your like and comment please do subscribe for more videos thank you